Hello and welcome to another Division video. In this video I will present you my Hunter's Faith build I was using in my previous run through Napalm Legendary Difficulty. Uh, yet the video is already on my YouTube channel, just check it out if you don't have it already. And I got the request to show the build in detail I was using there. And of course I will do this for you and show you the build I was using there. So let's get right into the build. As you see here, six piece Hunter's Faith. It's a really, really nice set, I have to say. I never thought before that I will farm for them in the future, but I will definitely, definitely go for it. That's so awesome to use with a sniper rifle. Uh, I enjoy it really, really a lot. Yeah, really. It's so decent. It's close to Sentry's Call, not the same. I think this is more kind of. I would say a solo build, although the 4 piece talent is a little bit strange, but all in all the 6 piece it's more for solo than the sentry in my opinion. Because sentry you can stacks, get stacks for your teammates as well, not from this one here. So let's start with the chest piece I use here. Of course everything is maxed out, optimization station, <laughs> thanks to the optimization station here, and the chest piece as you see every gear piece is rolled into firearms of course, higher attributes, I do have skill power and enemy arm damage and ammo capacity, yeah I don't have health anymore on this one, it doesn't make that much sense, as you see compared to 1.7 my toughness is at 324,000, so pretty high, and uh, yeah before with a sniper build it was about 290 I would guess with health roll on it. But to max out in PV the, the damage you can deal here, just go for enemy armor damage. The mods I'm using always firearms with skill haste. And that's it for the chest, so let's go ahead to the mask. Mask almost the same, uh, firearms and higher attributes, enemy armor damage, damage to elites. PV, one of the best things you can have. Nothing special here and again a mod with skill haste and firearms. So the knee pads I'm using, I was using on this one, is rolled again, of course, into firearms with a skill hate mod and first aid self heal, because as you see my skill power is pretty, pretty low. Uh, one thing I rolled here, I would re-roll in the future, is the higher attribute, I would re-roll this one for uh, skill power, to have a little bit better heal. I think that's more important instead of the health roll on it. It's not that much worth using it in my opinion. Because yeah, with the armor, the increased one, you have ha more health anyway. So that's not the, the best thing there. I would re-roll this one into skill power in the future. Uh, but I will show you the set I was using there, so I promised this one, but that's why I don't re-roll it at the moment. Mm -hmm. Chest piece, uh, chest piece, holster of course. Everything maxed out and skill haste here the same as in 1.7. Mm -hmm. The gloves I'm using here, of course, firearms, enemy armor damage too. Uh, marksman rifle damage and skill haste. Of you could go with uh, crit chance as well, but I prefer to have my heals back faster and that's why I go here for um, skill haste. Skill haste, yeah. The backpack, mm -hmm. last but not least, um, firearms of course, again, and here I have already skill power. I think it's the best stat for this one here, and minor attribute, enemy armor, uh, ammo capacity of course. So this is already the set, the guns I'm using for this build mm -hmm. is the M44. There are two reasons for this one, the one reason is the one marksman rifle where you deal the most damage. Of course you have the classic version, you would deal more damage with this one, but you don't have that many mods on it. That's why I prefer this one here. As a secondary, in the video I was using this one here. M4 lightweight, but be because the unforgiving doesn't make that much sense in my opinion, I would change this out in the future in 1.8 and use the house for enemies that are close to you. As you see, 23.2k damage, it's pretty high. Responsive, deadly and the card counter talent from the house works pretty well too. I tried this out as well and everything maxed out here too. <coughs> and the second reason 
I'm using the M44 because except the, uh, car class the carbon M700 it's the only gun at the moment that works with the hunter's face as you see here as soon as I land the headshot you see the stack down there 30, 60 and the increased damage 90 and 100 and it goes up to 1.1 million if you land all your shot and then it disappears so I can change this one to just quickly to show you the damage uh, if I use pulse and booster too and I land and if I would land the headshot 800,000 that was a crit 1 million 1.4 million without enemy armor damage and whatever so that's pretty insane I would say and yeah if I change this just to quickly demonstrate devil is the same historian is the same Aswid is the same if I land headshots with this one it doesn't work it doesn't count or stack up and the same with the A1A uh, M1A? No, the, the historian is an M1A. What's the other one? I don't know the name. It's another f a slow firing uh, marksman rifle, but it doesn't work with this SRS. The SRS, yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't work with the SRS as well. So the M700 and the M44 are the only weapons at the moment that works with this build, and that's why I choose this one. And just to demonstrate, it's maxed out too. Base damage 172, with prepared, brutal and destructive, I think it's almost god roll for PvE, in my opinion, and 172 headshot damage as well. Mods, of course, are everything specced into headshot damage on this build, and crit, chance crit damage. As you see, 172 base damage, if I land one headshot, first stack, then I get 280, 218. A huge increase. <laughs> then the next stack I get 264 <laughs> damage. Next one is 310. <laughs> it's insane. And the last one it's 326. And if I land another one it's back to basic, so 326k base damage, but yeah, the, of course you have to sh land your shots in close uh, distance, because the damage disappears pretty fast, and if you, yeah, you can miss shot one, it doesn't matter anything, but the second one it disappears, <coughs> and just to look, three, two, one, uh, no, 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 sorry, <laughs> count upwards uh, just give me a second come on reload one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah ten seconds you have time to land your next headshot if you don't land the next headshot in ten seconds then the bonus disappears and if you can manage it to land it especially in napalm it's pretty decent at the beginning because they usually stand close together and they can really boom 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 and it works pretty well and if you have the highest stack then you can one shot almost every NPC in there so this is about the weapons let's go ahead quickly to the character sheet uh, not that important in my opinion ha weapon damage you see here you saw it before it's not that high here not my main focus headshot damage is my main focus here on this build 240 pretty high pretty decent i would say this one here is pretty nice too 28 percent damage to elites and enemy armor damage 37 pretty nice as well skills not that high 100,000 almost but as i said i would re-roll my knee pads for skill power as well then i have about 115 and a little bit stronger heal Skill haste is maxed out without a uh, tactician, 40% and toughness. As you see, if I re-roll the other stat, I do have about 200,000, the same as I would have or as I have now in 1.7. And of course, the armor is maxed out at 33.5% too. <coughs> 
yeah that's it for the character sheet the last thing the abilities skills i'm using here yeah mainly if i run this ball build in pve i run two healing skills because i deal enough damage and you see the heal is not that strong just about 96,000 <coughs> and the box too but this is just if i would go down to revive myself sometimes i change out to pulse but Honestly, the pulse doesn't matter that much. Of course, you deal more uh, damage if you use the tech scanner or the booster shot. But as I said, I think the, the damage is always already enough. And that's why I usually run with this healing skills. Talents I'm using here, uh, the strike pack and the, the one here. <laughs> I have just the German name right now, but I think you know already what it is. Then I use precision because I don't use pulse, that I can have the pulse effect anyway. And on the move doesn't make that much sense. I don't know why I changed this one to this. And one is none because you go for headshots and you don't have that much ammo usually. Usually, and that's why. This one is my preferred setup for this build. Yeah, that was my Hunter's Face build I'm using in the my last solo run on Napalm Legendary Difficulty. I hope you enjoyed this video, it was useful for you guys and thanks for watching, you're the best. <laughs> See you in the next one, bye bye.